Hello, everybody. It's been a minute. Um, Cole and I are finally van camping again. Um, so last time our video, we were like technically first time camping in our van and we stayed at a campground. Today, we decided to just like go to a forest and find a spot that we found on iOverlander. So thank you to the people that um, told us about this spot. Um, it's just like on, um, we're on Tum Tum Road in the Sisla, I don't know how to say it, Sisla National Forest in Oregon. Um, and it was just like, it's just a pull out little section site, which is good because we weren't sure if we could like, what we can push the van to go through so far, like on gravel roads and stuff. There's no one else here. This is like a lodging road. So we're passing a bunch of like trees planted in 1980, 1990. There's coal. Um, yeah, I don't think, I think we're gonna like walk around the little area for a bit. It's not like a trail exactly. I think it's just pretty much the road right here. Um, and then we'll do all of our hiking and stuff tomorrow because we're gonna stay another night somewhere tomorrow, possibly the same spot. So, enough talking. Here's, here's everything we're gonna do. <laughs> on the menu babe tonight we are having lemongrass thai curry and pesto presto matchsticks and what are these these, these are hiker are, meals these are backpacking meals we are filming a video tomorrow hopefully um we have like 20 <laughs> meals we are filming no, I, I, don't I, I don't know why i'm laughing i don't know why i'm laughing um but we have like 20 backpacking meals that we all want to like try and review because they're all vegan and also we would just want to know what they taste like to know which ones we want to take backpacking in the future. So we're gonna try these two tonight. This is literally all we're eating like all weekend besides our snacks, our backpacking meals. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's such a huge menu. It's like, why not? Why yeah, not like try all of them? Yeah, we have a bunch of different brands too. We've never yeah. tried this brand, so hopefully yeah. it's good. It's got the wood boy, chopping a wood boy. You like it? Sasquatch brewing. Yeah, it's from Portland. Yeah, it's awesome. First time brushing our teeth in the van. <laughs> How much is a cup? Eight ounces is a cup. Good morning. It's 8.30. We slept for 12 hours. That's Did what we really? Do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, like 11, 11 and a half. This morning, we're gonna try the apple pie breakfast, Heather's Choice. Um, and then I have some tea. I a couple. Yeah. It's a little cold in here. We had to open the windows because we're still like, you know, it's propane in the van, but it's going good. It smells like apple pie. Too much water? I don't know. Oh, not. Mm. You know, it already has that texture of those little pocket ones you bought. Yeah. It does say buckwheat, diced apples, and spices. 
I like that. I, I think too. even more water would be good. Yeah, it's kind of like mellow. Mm -hmm. All right, it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we just like spent the morning reading and making our breakfast and taking some film photos and basically like getting used to where we're gonna put stuff in our van, sort of, kind of. Um, Cause we don't ever, like since we're not living full time in it yet, we don't have like a place where we know our clothes are gonna go or like our pantry stuff's gonna go or like whatever. So we're just kind of, it's nice for figuring out like, uh, Organization. Yeah, organization and what's gonna work for us. And there's like some kinks, like in here, our water um, tank is like underneath a sink, so we don't really have a specific place to put like pantry goods yet. And all of our like um, cabinets are open. I guess you can call them cabinets, like storage holes are open. And so right now we have like blankets and stuff, but that's not really a good use of that space. So, anyways, we're just like taking the time to figure out where we want things to go. And it's working out pretty good it's a good opportunity this weekend um but we're headed to all sea of falls like an hour away from us so we're gonna hike there i think it's a two mile hike and then we either may come back and park here tonight or we're gonna find somewhere else along the way made it to Alsia Falls, Alsia, Alsia. We went to the Alsia Falls campground. It looks like it's full. You can only go online to um, get a spot and there's no internet out here. Um, but I think the road over is a BLM land road. So we're gonna see if that is possibly where we can sleep tonight. What's up? We're hey, we're at <laughs> we're at El we're at Alcia Falls. There we go. from Alsia Falls and also further down the pathway there's another fall which is like equally as good it's about a mile um yeah um but very like very such a really really good like place um I don't know why we hadn't heard of it like is a popular place before I really like it yeah super um, underrated there's a lot of parking around here it's three dollars to park um and also like just the little rec area of Alsia Falls um they have fire pits and, um, where do you sit at? Grills and stuff. Pick and picnic picnic tables. tables. Where do you sit? <laughs> where do you sit? Yeah. On the yes. ground. They have a bunch of picnic tables that's like free for day use. Um, so it's like a really, really nice place to come, like with your family or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, the path to the first falls, Elsie Falls is super, um, easy. It's pretty flat. So. Yeah. Like not even a hike at all. It's just a, yeah. yeah. 
I think we're gonna go back into town and probably actually head home tonight. We were gonna stay another night somewhere, but we couldn't find any campgrounds and we really wanted to do like a campground setup so we could really like put the hammock up and enjoy like eating outside and stuff. Um, we don't actually own a table. I don't know why we don't own a table yet. <laughs> but so I think we're actually gonna head actually. home so that our kitties have us at home. Um, but tomorrow we are gonna be like taking the cats out in a stroller and getting them used to like being outside. We got a stroller. So that they can, yeah, we bought a cat stroller. And also I was taking, I've been taking Calvin on walks again. So that hopefully will be the next video of us sort of like acclimating our cats to the outside and the inside of the van. I don't think we've ever put them in here yet, right? No. <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay. Um, will I be show you our delicious food we're gonna eat after this? We caved. Got Oops. Burgerville. Burgerville's our um treat when we go places. <laughs> um they have a veggie bean burger that is amazing. And then we always add barbecue sauce and get like no cheese and no mayo. And they have amazing fries and then their shakes. They have this thing called the bullish shake, so it's plant based and dairy free and all that. I always get the what? The coffee something? Uh, cold the brew? Portland cold brew. Portland cold brew. So good. Um, but anyways, I think that's it for our trip today. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Change of plans. So Maybe. The, the video's still going. <laughs> um, we remembered to close the video and now we're not closing it. Um, we realized that there's a drive-in theater on the way home. So it opens at 6.30. It's like 6.15 right now. I'm not speeding. But the show doesn't actually start till 8.40, so it's kind of a hit, and, hit or miss if um, too many people like get in line and take the 100 spots that are there. So we're going to Target real quick to see if we can get an AM FM radio to rent, and then we're gonna show up late and see if we can still get a spot at the drive-in theater. <laughs> We almost couldn't make it into this drive-in because the height is eight feet and I think our van's like right under nine. It's like eight and a half and so someone let us in the back gate. Oh my god, we almost couldn't make it. But we ran to Target and got an FM radio and here we are. We're at the drive-in. And tonight on the movie menu is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 version or the 90s whatever and um, Mortal Kombat <laughs> so yay we're gonna put the bed out I've never taken our van to a drive-in before so we used to go a lot as I used to go a lot as kids so it's very very special to me here is look at our ominous radio whoa we can make a sci-fi song with this Ice cream and other good things to eat. Plus, ice cold Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> 